everyone wants to be a cowboy. Like, they may not be thinking, oh, I want to be a cowboy, but when they sit down and think about, like, a cowboy, there's probably a moment where they're like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. My name is Jeremy Booth. I'm a Western artist. I'm a dad. I'm married to a beautiful woman. And I paint in my basement. I love being here and close to my family. Especially the early part of my process is very collaborative with my wife. And so she's able to step in and um, kind of help and, and guide when she can. And my kids, when they pop in and see that daddy's painting, I think that's pretty special. And I hope that's a, that's a memory for them uh, to carry on with them throughout their life. I started as a hardcore kid uh, making show flyers with an illegal copy of Photoshop. My interest shifted uh, to wanting to pursue uh, illustration. The main catalyst for that was Adobe Illustrator and vector art. When I decided I wanted to find my own artistic voice uh, and I started to pursue that, I got sick. I started having seizures. It was a very dark season of my life. It lasted six months. It turns out that it was a, there was a mass on my brain. I had surgery and I no longer have seizures. But the beauty of that season of my life is that I was able to use and focus in on, on illustration and art to distract me from you know, my situation, which was terrible. It was in that moment I was really able to just dig deep try to figure out what I wanted to portray as an artist. And that really kind of built the foundation of, of where I am today. I've been a commercial artist for the past 10 years or more. And I started as a digital fine artist probably three years ago. I basically went on a journey and kind of landed on Western art. And it really resonated with people. And, but I, I felt like that there was something missing. I decided that I wanted to start painting, so I walked upstairs and told my wife, I've got to buy some canvases. We love uh, the desert landscape. Um, as often as we can, we're visiting Arizona and Utah. My reference process really changed when I, my wife and I went to our first ranch to photograph cowboys. And in that experience, you get authenticity, you meet the community, you know, you're there in the midst of sometimes chaos. <laughs> what comes from that is better piece of work, I think. Um, and that really changed my perspective on my craft, my, uh, my artistry. My process always starts digitally. It's where I come from, it's who I am. There's a beautiful side of that, of being able to kind of take it off screen and put it into the physical world. One of the bigger challenges I have is mimicking color from the digital world to the physical world. A, a lot of experimenting to get to a point to where I feel like they're pretty close. Breath work as far as when I'm doing brush strokes and that sort of thing, that's challenging because I, I, I want to mirror the crispness of my digital work in physical form on a canvas and that usually means that the line work has to be pretty, pretty crisp and pretty straight. And so while doing that, controlling my breath, controlling the strokes are very important. I can tell you that my appreciation for my work, I think has increased a lot as I've kind of become a fusion of both the digital and the physical artist. Do I feel like I'm a Western artist? I feel in some capacity all over the place. I'm a digital artist, I do Western art, I do contemporary art, but I think in a lot of ways I'm paving my own path because it doesn't feel like I solely fit in any of those categories. For me, I am in all of those things together and separately. So I, I think I'm figuring it out, paving my own path. At this point, I want my work to portray the Western lifestyle that I love so much. I think that's honesty. I think that's respect. I think that's boldness and adventure. And I want to pay respect to the people that truly live that lifestyle. And so if I can capture that in a piece of art, I think I've done my job. 
there are attributes of the cowboy that everyone resonates with and can have some sort of connection. As far as the romantic side, most people want to be a cowboy. The hard work, commitment, honor, and respect that people can grasp and understand and want to be a part of. It's honestly, in some capacity, bigger than themselves. What I love about what we're doing is we're not just sharing my story, but we're sharing the stories of the cowboys that I paint. And we're paying respect and honor to the communities of the American West. As I've gotten further into my career, I really feel like the power of working with others exceeds the, the power of working by myself. It's been exciting to work with Maker's Place. They've been so good to work with, and I'm really excited about the exhibition coming up. I think it's gonna be really special.